yeah well they just sort of like surreptitiously go like this you know and then often yes i am asked to do that Hi, everybody. I'm Elisa Donovan, actress and author. And today we are looking through some of my old Instagram posts. It really was, you know, I keep saying this, but it's true. It was it was a surreal experience to be playing those characters as grownups and, uh, you know, to look over at Alicia and I'm just going, am I hallucinating? What is happening right now? Everything was virtually the same. The same cinematographer, Bill Pope, who shot the film, shot the commercial, which was so special because he just wanted to come back to do this with us because he loved shooting Clueless as much as we did. Oh my gosh. I honestly, I did not anticipate how much fun it was going to be. It was like a college reunion. Everyone that I ever worked with was there. It was so fun. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It was like, I loved it. Oh my gosh. So I think that was the first flight that my daughter was ever on. I think, but I don't know. I think that's what it was. She's such a sweet spirit. I just, it's so hard, you know, when we do these things, she's obviously not there and she was such a huge part and it's difficult, you know, she was really loved and she was quite special and just fiercely talented. It's really hard to, to talk about her because it's, it's incredibly sad. You know, her spirit is there with us for sure. And, um, she's, she's a bright light or she was. Yes, this was amazing. So I think I was doing Sabrina and I had done this show called Switched where they had done a series of, of uh, a couple seasons of this show where they would put teenagers from different socioeconomic or different racial backgrounds and they would switch lives with another family. I switched lives with this wonderful woman called Maddie Carmichael. It was crazy and it was so fun. And Oprah had both of us on the show talk about our experience and how life-changing it was. It was incredibly fun. And of course, meeting Oprah, I was like, ah. she's truly, when you walk into that, that studio, I went, this is, this is heavy. Like I have never, people absolutely go crazy for her. Like she's, she's like the queen. It was amazing. Yeah, you know, it's changed over the years. I have such a kind of uh, love-hate relationship with it because I, I do see um, an incredible amount of damage that social media does. And then there is just a wealth of good. You know, it's certainly a business tool for me, but it's also a way for people to really understand more of who I am. And I also try to really put in things that are dear to my heart. And I just always make a, an absolutely fierce commitment to putting light and, and love and positive things out there. It's tricky because you offend people, which is um, shocking that when you're, when, you're, when you're promoting something positive that you could incite people's anger and fury. Uh, as much as I want people's voices to be heard, some that, there's no place for that in my, on my page for sure.